Welcome, stars. Can you believe imagine a celestial event so large that it casts a shadow on Earth, visible even in daylight? This is the closest we'll ever get to seeing the constellation of Orion, the mysterious star Betelgeuse, foreshadowing an imminent supernova explosion that will light up our skies like never before. But when will Betelgeuse go supernova and what will it look like? What secrets can this star event reveal according to scientists? Join us as we dive deeper into the facts surrounding Betelgeuse and the effects it will have on Earth and the entire solar system. Betelgeuse is about 650 light years from Earth in the constellation Orion, and it's no ordinary star. It is a red giant, one of the brightest stars we know, and shines with a brightness more than 100,000 times brighter than the sun, but what does this red giant mean to us? Betelgeuse stands out not only for its brightness, but also for its history and significance in human culture. Betelgeuse, named after the Arabic word Yadel Joza, meaning Hand of the Mighty, has been observed and recorded by ancient civilizations for centuries, a guide for travelers and a wonder for stargazers. Its red color distinguishes it from the other stars in the Orion constellation. Can you imagine a star that darkens our entire solar system? To give you some perspective on Betelgeuse's true significance. If our sun were to be replaced, its edges would extend to Jupiter. How can a star get so big? At 10 million years old, it's a lot younger than our 5 billion year old sun, but Betelgeuse's massive size means it consumes its materials at a much faster pace, predicting a shorter lifespan than that of other stars. Now, this celestial behemoth, spanning a volume large enough to contain more than a billion suns, is nearing the end of its life cycle. And when stars of such magnitude reach their twilight years, they don't just fade away. They go out with a bang. A supernova explosion that's beyond human comprehension in terms of its energy and brilliance. Such an event has the potential to outshine an entire galaxy, casting shadows of brilliance across vast cosmic distances. The last time Earth witnessed a supernova explosion this close was in 1604, long before the invention of modern telescopes. This event, known as Kepler's supernova, was the last supernova seen with the naked eye in the Milky Way. Visible for more than 18 months, this star is brighter than any other star in the night sky and can be seen during the day for several weeks. Ancient records from various nations, including Chinese and European astronomers, have documented the appearance of this new star. Historically, supernovae were rare on Earth. But imagine for a moment a star so powerful it could compete with the brightness of the full moon, which overshadows the Earth at night and is visible during the day. Radiation from that event could charge our atmosphere, affecting satellite activity and possibly weather. Betelgeuse, with its surprising microscopic patterns, may be ready for that big show. Could it be that we are on the verge of one of the most important events in the world? Astronomers have come up with a surprising revelation. Between October 2019 and the beginning of 2020, Betelgeuse underwent a spectacular change that attracted the attention of astronomers and enthusiasts around the world. The brightness of this star, known as the Great Dark, has been constant for centuries and will begin to decrease dramatically. This sudden change was so noticeable that even astronomers saw Betelgeuse in relation to other stars in the Orion constellation. But that means it's only a few centuries away from its supernova explosion, perhaps a decade or less. In April 2023, astronomical observations indicated that Betelgeuse had returned to global brightness levels, leading many to believe that the anomaly period was over. But in an unexpected twist, months later Betelgeuse's brightness increased by an astonishing 50%. These large variations, although common for variable stars, for a star like Betelgeuse show predictable brightness changes. The sudden increase in brightness has brought the star back into the limelight and sparked discussions about his future. But why this sudden change in brightness? Why did Betelgeuse, one of the most famous stars in our night sky, suddenly throw a celestial sphere? Stars are not just bright dots in our night sky. They are dynamic people with their own life cycle, work, and secrets. For many celestial bodies, changes in brightness can be predicted, similar to the rhythm of Earth's seasons. Betelgeuse maintains a 400-day lunar cycle throughout its stellar life. But in the big dark, it seems to challenge its established behavior and challenge our understanding of the nature of the upper atmosphere. Now you may be wondering, are we on the verge of an amazing revelation? While the exact causes of Betelgeuse's antics are still under investigation, 
a compelling theory has emerged. Focusing on astrology and mass ejections, this theory presents an interesting phenomenon. Think of Betelgeuse as a massive celestial volcano exploding violently, throwing a lot of its material into space. Previous observations by the Hubble Space Telescope have shown that Betelgeuse has already released much of its raw material into space. The ejection is 400 billion times old, a famous event that is often released in solar terms about the same number of times as our moon. These processes can create a thick cloud of dust around the star, affecting its brightness and temporarily making it more difficult to observe. When this dust began to disperse, or was pushed away by the star's radiation pressure, the barrier lifted. This may explain its return to normal brightness levels. In any case, these recent performances show that the star is not done to surprise us. Many believe that Betelgeuse is nearing the end of its life, a supernova event, a powerful burst of energy that could darken the entire galaxy. This phenomenon occurs when there is a sudden change in the core of the star. These changes occur if a star has too much material from a nearby star or, in the case of Betelgeuse, from the exhaustion of nuclear fuel which throws mass into the core which setting the stage for a disastrous fall. What happens when a massive star like Betelgeuse dies? Born from the collapse of gas in atomic clouds, stars like Betelgeuse begin their journey by burning hydrogen in their cores. This early phase, known as the main sequence phase, lasts for millions of years and forms the backbone of the star's life. As the hydrogen is reduced, the helium begins to burn, producing carbon and oxygen. This transition from the main sequence phase to the helium burning phase is marked by the expansion of the star into a red giant. As the helium supply decreases, the star expands and transforms into more flaming phases, characterized by the formation of heavier elements. When the peak comes, iron begins to form in the core. Unlike lighter elements, iron does not release energy when it melts, so the energy it produces is not enough to resist the gravitational pull of the star. The star balloons in size, creating an explosion followed by a massive collapse that produces the explosive power of a supernova. So, is Betelgeuse nearing an explosive end, or is it just time? Current research suggests that the star is in its carbon burning phase, but other researchers suggest that Betelgeuse is still beginning to burn helium. Point one thing is certain Betelgeuse is the next supernova in the Milky Way. However, determining the timing of this event remains a spatial guessing game, with intervals ranging from decades to 100,000 years.